What's up friends, Chuck here and welcome back to Subnautica. Okay, uh, so we need a little bit of health and we need a little bit of food and we need a little bit of water. So we'll get them done first, then we'll make the mobile vehicle bait, then we'll make the Seamoth and then we can go and do many, many things. Also, uh, this is like my fourth episode in a row um, recording. Like I said, last episode, I just love this game so much and I just get so involved and everything. I don't want to get too far away. So uh, ahead, sorry, of um, comments and stuff in case you guys have... Um, questions or, or recommendations or requests or anything so after this episode i'll probably not record for like a week which is really hard because i want to play this game like non-stop but um yeah just getting that out there disclaimers and stuff all right let's do it uh we could use a peeper for food wait give me wait give me wait <laughs> fucking jesus let me catch you dude He just disappeared. Fuck, pro play. It's like better than a scuttle crab at juking. Holy crap. All right. And then a bladder fish also would be good. Done. And one more just because you're an asshole. And one more just so we have two of each. Perfect. Uh, next, we want a first aid kit. The one in our home is um, replenishing or, or, or whatever. So let's grab this one here. Oh, we have a heap of stuff on us too. It's not the best, actually. Let's uh, cook up this stuff. Cooked peeper. Do we have any salt on us? Shit, yeah. Okay. Nice. Because we won't need um, to eat two peepers. They're pretty good. So, cooked peeper. Done. Filter water one. Filter water two. Look at this. We're fucking awesome. Uh, we have two fish and a thing, which we don't need. So, what we were doing is we wanted to do... Let's have a look. We wanted to go... Uh, mobile vehicle bay. Lubricant and power cells. So, let's familiarize ourselves with them. Even though for you, it's been a day. For me, it's been like three minutes. I've already forgotten. I know lubricant is the creep vine stuff. And the power cell was what? Two batteries and a silicon rubber, okay. And silicon rubber is what? Crepe vine cluster, seed cluster, okay. So we just need a shite ton of crepe vine clusters. Is there one in here? I had a feeling there was one in here. There is, okay, sweet. Uh, you know what? Let's go back home. And put away some stuff. So we've got, like, inventory. All the titanium can go wee 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 all the way home stuff don't need two fish uh actually we can make a battery now with one titanium that'll free up a few slots oh it's copper or not titanium i always forget i know it's mushrooms and that's all i remember is it's mushrooms mainly because i hate mushrooms um like the taste of mushrooms and stuff so I remember that it, it, that it sucks us. All right, let's put the battery in there and then the, oh, there should be a difference. They should have like a little red cross on it or something saying that it's um out of thing because that can get confusing. All right, titanium, you can disappear. Uh, is there any stuff in, woof? Okay, there's one bit of, you know what? Let's swap it, right? Let's put this in here, let's put this in here. Let's put the battery, the good battery in with us. Uh, let's put copper ore in there. Let's put everything we need to make all this stuff in here. So we need a titanium ingot. We need a battery. Uh, we need creep vine clusters. I can't remember what else we need apart from like a shitload of creep vine clusters. So let's go do that because like it's right here. Okay. I think we needed five, but I'm just going to grab a heap. Okay, I think our inventory is full. It sure is. Alright, that should be more than enough. Let's turn them into whatever it is. Oh, fuck, we need a hatch as well. That's right. We need more quartz as well for, for glass for the um, sea moth. Either way, I'm pretty sure it was lubricant. And I'm also pretty sure it was a power cell. So we need two batteries. Oh shit, we need two batteries. Crap. All right, it's fine. Done. 
and a copper ore. Okay, so if we grab, not that, if we grab the other battery, and this, because why not, then we can make silken rubber, that's right, silken rubber, done. Okay, now we can make the power cell. Alright, so what else do we need for deployable, uh, for the thing? A titanium ingot, which we already have. Alright, so now... Oh! Hello. <laughs> Didn't mean to click on you, but that was nice. Mobile vehicle bay! Oh, fucking, we've done it! We have done it. It looks like a futuristic motorbike kind of thing. It's pretty good. Done. All right. Now, it's huge. Uh, creep vine clusters, whatever. Let's find out what we need for this. Titanium ingot, we can do power cell. Well, we know the power cell is two batteries. Uh, silicon rubber and two batteries. Okay, so let's make some silicon rubber. Let's make two batteries. One, two, three, four. Okay, done. Two times glass lubricant. Lubricant. Create fine clusters. Three. And we only have one. Okay, so two more of them. This one's the closest it looks like. With nothing on it. Okay, well we got one. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, done. And then we need two more quartz as well. Luckily, there's a quartz. Okay. And there is a quartz. Brilliant. I think... We, oh, there's another quartz. I think we might actually have it, you know? I think we might. Is there one more quartz? So we've, like, got even numbers? Because I'm, I'm all about... Yeah. I'm all about the evens. Not a big fan of the odds. OCD and all that jazz. All right. Congratulations, Survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotation... Uh, Quote, what? Quotient. By 500%. Data increases at swimming, your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I like that a lot. Aboard, okay. Let's make the lib. Okay. So let's have a uh, look at what else it was. So power cell, two times glass. That's right. Do we have any quartz in here we do. Oh shit, we got enough. And we got enough to make the hatch as well. Fantastic. Okay, let's make... Wait, hold on. We've got like a shitload of glass here from the... Yeah, we've already got enough. But you know what, we'll turn the... No, we won't. We'll keep it as quartz because we can turn it into glass if we need it later. Right, we'll take the glass out. Put these three away. Okay, so... Let's have another look. Power cell. And then just we just need a titanium ingot, which is 10 titanium. Which is, uh, do we have enough room for 10 titanium? We do. Okay, sweet. Oops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, God! <laughs> We've freaking done it! I kind of want to wait till daytime. We're gonna wait till daytime until we until we do it all. Okay, so we have the mobile vehicle be done. We have the Seamoth ready to go. We just need to wait for daytime. Until then, let's make the hatch, right? Uh, uh. hatch. Crap. Get out of this. There we go. Two titanium. 
I mean, we could have just gone out and gotten a titanium. It's not a big deal. Okay, hatch. There we go. So now we can come in and out from either side. That's actually pretty good. We don't really need a hatch there. Although we could probably, um, let's have a look at what we can do to extend our base, right? We could put an X compartment. If we put an X compartment here, I don't think it matches up with that. We could just have like a big U. We could have two glass things, but that's a lot of glass. Oh shit, it's becoming daytime. It's getting exciting. Oh man. Okay. There's enough light. We can do it now. Mobile vehicle bay. Uh, we need to quick slot it. Let's just quick slot it to four for the moment. Four. And go. Shit. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Here we go. Vehicles. Seamoth. Ugh! The little pretties go out. While in Seamoth, submersible is fast, safe mode of transport. Try to co um, continue to meet your recommendation weekly exercise quotient. Swimming is fantastic for your glute levels and endorphin levels. And then the little pretties come back. And. We almost destroyed our base, actually. We have ourselves a Seamoth. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh! <laughs> oh! What it? We can do stuff! We can go anywhere we want! We have, like, fucking, like, energy. Uh, we, uh, oxygen, sorry, so we can go out and do stuff and then go, oh shit, we're running all on oxygen. Pop back in here. Oh! The only thing is, uh, you can see there that it has, um, health and energy. So if we bump into stuff, we get attacked by stuff, whatever, we need to repair thing. So we'll build that next. Uh, as well as having energy issues. So, you can see that there's a power cell. We can um, make new energy for it in the way of a power cell. However, as you may have noticed, where did our base go? Oh man, it feels like hope. The power cell's not exactly the cheapest thing. So a power cell is what? Two batteries and a silicon rubber? I mean the silicon rubber is not too bad. The silicon rubber is like, what? Like creek vine clusters? Who gives a shit? Hey, there's another one to go. Nice. Let's put that in um, spoof. Because we don't need to. We can just like stockpile them. Be pretty good. Um, however, the batteries is going to eat through our copper ore. I mean, we have a bit. The, the mushrooms aren't, aren't a problem. You know what? We might actually... We might make one in, in, in um, preparation and have it in our bag. So we'll go with that. We need two... Two batteries, which we've done. And... How many lubes? Was it one lube? Uh, one silicon rubber, sorry, it was. Okay, and silicon rubber was... Okay, so we need four more clusters. Okay, so we basically, we don't really need um, the sea glide anymore. Because, like, it's taking up a shitload of space. And we, like, just hop in and out of this thing all the time. If we're going caving and stuff, we can always go back and get it. But for the moment, we don't really need it. So we need four of these. One thing I do remember about my first playthrough is um, I did run low on copper and it was really hard to find some. So that's why I'm being a little bit conservative about it. And this also has light as well. So in the dark, um, you know, we can like, say we want to go get a fragment down there. We can just turn the light on and then exit the thing and go get it in the light. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Like I said, the game has just opened up in a major fucking way. All right, let us make two silicon rubber. Let us make two batteries. 
Wait, it was two batteries and a silicon rubber, right? Yeah, okay, sweet. Oh shit, it's massive. Does that fit into one slot? Oh, it does. Nice. We have too many silicon rubbers. Did I... Did I do it, um... I did. It was one silicon rubber and two batteries, not two, two silicon rubber. Two. Well, we have a spare silicon rubber. It's fine. That can go in the spoof as well. Uh, Alright, so, see, so can the sea glide. Look at this! We've got all the space in the world. We could even get another tank if we need. But again, we don't really need the other tank now because we've got the Seamoth. Oh, shit! Alright. Uh, once we get... Once? Once we get the... Um, the uh, moon pool and we can dock it we can like change its color we change its name we can modify it we can do all this cool stuff at the moment the sea glide is just basically a way of getting around quicker and a portable um o2 unit um but it gets so much better stockpile that why not uh what did that come in here for i wanted to see what was in here yeah i thought there was some stuff we'll take it okay we basically never ever have to come back here ever Use repair tool. Oh yeah, repair tool. Shit, that was something we wanted to make. Uh, tools. Repair tool. Magnesium. Crash fish powder. Okay, so that was the crash powder. The, yeah, this was confusing. Back in the day, it was called crash powder. I went everywhere, couldn't find crash powder for shit. Finally looked it up on the wiki because I like I gave up. I don't usually like use wikis and stuff. I like to figure stuff out. Couldn't find it. They said, yeah, it's from those fish that blow up in your face. Um, and, like, I had no idea what they were called, so they've made it called Crash Fish Powder, so it's a bit easier to understand. Magnesium. Can we make magnesium? We can. Salt. Okay, so we need three salt. Easy. We need a Crash Fish... One Crash Fish Powder? Was it? Okay, so three salt and a Crash Fish... <laughs> I really want to stop saying Crash Fish. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fuck it up soon. Uh, okay, so we need to go caving, kind of, and find a crash fish powder. <laughs> it's lost all meaning. I've said it too many times. All right. Arsehole fish powder. Are you in here? Nope. Take one of them, no? Well, it might be, actually. Yes, there is. Nice. Okay, it did hit us. It didn't hit us for much, though. Oh, shit. Okay, we did not get the search off. Uh, crash fish powder. We've done it. That was easy. There was two. Okay. Creature egg. I really want... I don't want it... I don't want it to die. But I want a crash fish. In my aquarium. So I'll tell you what we might do. We might go and put it like on top of the locker or something. And see if we can like rest it on top of the locker so it, it's still underwater but it doesn't because i'm fairly sure if you put an uh an egg in a thing it's gonna die right so this like locker we can just push down a bit all right we've done it and then if we just like drop this it just went straight through it did it go straight through it or did we miss i feel like we kind of missed <laughs> okay uh let's try again Fuck, I think it just goes straight through it, actually. Ah! No! I need to see! I didn't see. I don't think we're anywhere near it. Alright, one more, one more turn. Otherwise, we can just drop it below our base, I guess. Let's go higher. There we go. I think this is good. This is the one. It's not the one. Okay. I hate this locker. I hate it so much. Is there anything still left in it? Ah, shit. I picked it up. <laughs> Must have been anything left in it then. Uh, let us go and put the egg like in a safe place. You know what? We'll put it in this tube, right? Remember that there's a crash fish egg in here. We could do that. We could just like gather all the eggs and put them in here. It's rolling. It can't roll up this, surely. Okay. Feels like it's thinking about it. It is. It's fucking rolling up. Stop it. Go that way. <laughs> okay. Well, we can always get more, I guess, if it, if it disappears. But for the moment, it's there. 
It fucking it wants to go up this hill. No! Fuck you! No! We're keeping it! We're gonna figure out a way of keeping it. That that's the that's the mission at the moment, is keeping this egg safe. It's like a, it's our wee babby. We need to keep it like safe at all times. Uh what about down in here, maybe? We can just like What if we just drop it here? Civil War. Alright. Oxygen. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's one thing I completely forgot about. You know, the, only, the thing all humankind needs. The one thing you can't really afford to forget about. Well, I mean, in real life, when when do you ever worry about running about of oxygen really? Uh okay. So, what are we doing? Let's go put stuff away. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. Toots. Let's put titanium away. Uh, we, no, hang on. We were we were building. I'm getting so fucking lost. We were building this repair tool, magnesium, three salt. We've got that. Okay. And what was the other thing? One titanium, which we just put away, like a dumb dog. Okay. Uh, magnesium, magnesium, magnesium. Okay, done. Repair tool, done. Okay, nice. Next thing we might want is that cutter, right? Oh shit, never mind, it's got, it needs a diamond. Forget that. Dunk. Let's put these away. Uh, okay, we probably don't need first aid kits for the moment. We've got quite a few. Uh, we could use some food and some water though. Luckily we have some water. Uh, to you. Let's go get a bladder fish and just a normal fish. I mean, when you swim around doing this sort of stuff, it is still handy to have the sea glide, but for the amount of inventory slot it takes up, meh. Uh, okay, bladder fish. The bladder fish. No? Okay, well we You can pick up... Uh, it's not too bad if you can fill it full of stuff and then pick it up. Oh no, it's... Uh, no, nah, it's still shit. I don't like it. Nutrient block, sure. First aid extinguisher, sure. You know what we're going to do? We're going to pick this up. And because I hate it so much... It's going in the trash. See you, bitch. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> that's the most amazing thing. I don't know why, but to me, that's the most amazing thing. Okay, stuffs. You can have food related contents. So let's take out uh, this and this and this. Uh, and you can go into stuffs. <laughs> okay. Let's cook up a paper. What am I doing? What am I doing? There it is. Could use probably one more paper and a, a bladder fish. Just to get like maxed out, or one more fish of any kind actually. But there's a peeper right here. I don't think we've scanned a bit. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing with that on number one? Uh, scanner, where are you? There. Have we even scanned the peeper? We haven't. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Even if it takes us 100 years. Okay, we've done. What's it say? Edible. High calorie count. That's what you want when you're trying to survive. Uh, we've got all these other eggs around here. Fuck, I'm on the aquarium. Holy crap. Okay, and then we need a bladder fish. If we can. It's not too big of a deal because we do have water on us. But, having said that, there's one right here. This is why the aquarium's good. Because you can just, like, normal food, like food fish, like pe peepers and stuff. Um, it's not so bad because you can just cure them or whatever, but uh, the bladder fish because we can turn it into water Like we could just have an aquarium with like bladder fish in there And then they would reproduce and then we could just keep harvesting them and farming them pretty good Okay water And uh, cooking uh, eating the the peeper will also give us a bit of um, 
water as well, which is good. So if we see here, we're on 68 water. If we eat this, it takes it up to 73. And if we drink this, almost maxed out. Good enough. All right, let's put everything away and go explore, right? So ores, gold ore, silver ore, the old quartz. Hopefully we have enough quartz one day that we can make a locker that just says quartz. <laughs> Shit. I just realized we, the first locker is just called what it is. The second locker would be like quartz with two in it. So like quartz? I don't know. Um, power cells, survival kit, uh, survival knife, da da da. Okay, we do not need a fire extinguisher. Repair tool, we do not need a flare. The sun's setting. Okay. I think everything else will keep. Alright, so we are good to go. We are good to go. Access upgrades. So these are the upgrades we can put into it to give it like extra stuff, which is great. And to see moth. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks, man. Alright. Uh, one of the upgrades, for instance, is we can um, give it uh, like its own lockers. So we can put stuff in it. So we can go out exploring, fill our bag up, put it into the lockers in the CMOS, uh, and then go back out and keep exploring. Awesome. Or uh, we can give it its own solar panels. So at the moment it's Energy 97 and we have that, um, that huge battery pack, whatever it was called, in our... In fact, what is it called? Uh, power cell? It just like while it's daytime, as long as you're not like super deep in the in the ocean, um, it will regen its energy. Stuff like that. Fucking awesome shit. So we need the moon pool. Um, so so far, like what are we like episode five or something? We haven't even gone into deep ocean yet. I don't think we've gone below like 120 meters or something, um, which is crazy, because we haven't had the um, privilege to. Now we do. Calm down. See what I mean? Like, if we want to go and get stuff, we can just, like, get out of the sea moth and grab this and go and get it. I would like some faster fins. I'm not going to lie. I feel like we'd, we're um, swimming pretty slow. That might also be because um, I've grown accustomed to the sea glide. Could be it. You know, we're going to pick you up because we're always looking for you and you're never to be found. Uh, we need to re-jiggy our inventory as well. So we need to put you onto two, you onto three, uh, you onto five, and then the sea glide was on four, so instead we'll put the repair tool, right? Onto four. Done. Now, I'm going to test something. When I used to play, depending where you got into the sea moth, was also where you left it. So, for instance, if you get in from behind the sea moth, like so, and then you go like, you know, kind of, like, full speed effectively, and then you leave it, you get out without being harmed which is what you want however if you enter it from the front and then you go full speed and then you get out it runs you over okay it's no longer the case that's fucking awesome that's good so you can just kind of hop in the sea moth wherever the hell you want it doesn't matter yeah brilliant good perfect good change well done i approve all right compass can we even build a... Oh, we don't, we don't have a fabricated. Okay, we're radiation detected. So we must be near the Aurora, which is exactly where I don't want to be. Okay, so we want to go this way. There needs to be a way for us to tell without the compass. In fact, let's just stop off at the, um, at the fabricator and see if we can make a compass. And we may as well um, cook up that bladder fish while we're here too. Alright, personal tools. Okay, scanner, repair tool, flashlight, survival, dive reel, air bladder, flare, habitat builder, laser cutter, thermometer. It's not really it. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can. Or maybe maybe it's maybe that's one of the upgrades for the um Seamoth. I can't really remember. Uh let's drink that water now actually. Done. Okay, so we want to go the way that the Seamoth was facing. Done. Okay, I'm pretty sure the Seamoth can go down to like 300 meters without um without it getting 
like a Okay, here's a wreck. Let's check this. There's bound to be shit here. We'll just position the Seamoth here so we got some light. And we'll bring out our torch as well. When we need it. Anything in here? Not. Anything in here? Not. Oh, uh, this is the one we might need the laser cutter for. Yeah, okay. Fine. See if I care, game. Metal salvage. Uh, we got a bit of space. We can always drop it if we, if we don't need it. Sandstone? Yeah. Okay, so we can't get into this one. It's a bit of a shame. Can I scan these boxes? No. It's also a bit of a shame. Wouldn't mind a box. Alright, so this one is basically forfeit. Uh, until we get the... Oh. Okay, the game is completely frozen. Come on, there we go. Uh, until we uh, until we get the laser cutter. We could get this as well. Oh, I want some faster swimmies. Faster swimmies. Oh, maybe we can like try and find the ball sack on the on the top of the um dude now as well. It's okay, man. I'm not hurting you. I'm just coming in to say hi, and you've bugged out again. Fuck, they really, really don't like you coming near them. You got a ball sack? Show me your ball sack. You don't have a ball sack. Okay. That's fine. Not everyone needs a ball sack. <laughs> barnacle! Yeah, the barnacle thing is bugged. Uh, where the hell is our Seamoth gone? There it is. I think they need to fix this as well, like the AI of the of the um of the reef back. Oh, there's the fucking poop nugget as well. Shit, funny little little things. Uh, because obviously it doesn't like it when you come near it, and it just kind of like freaks the fuck out. Okay, Aurora should be that way. Yes. Okay, we're going the right way. We're doing it. Probably don't need the light at the moment. Let's try and see if we can get past this biome into the next one. Moth, we can go to 200 meters before it gets yellow. Once you get to red, that's when you start taking damage. So we can dive a bit deep. Oh god. Okay, the frames have really taken a hit. Really, really taken a hit. Okay, seems to have leveled out a little bit. Um, fragments, where would you be? If you were a fragment, where would you be? If I was a fragment, I think I'd probably be... Oh, dude, come on. Load. Uh, if I was a fragment, I think I'd probably be, like, around a shipwreck. Because it makes sense, right? All the stuff that you're going to find and salvage and stuff would be near... I just took some damage. Would be near... Um... <gasps> it's a ball sack. Would be near, uh, you know, where the, the, the ship crashed. We're dying to something. What the hell are we dying to? That arsehole. Shit, two of those arseholes. Okay, well, we found a ball sack, but we can't really do much about it for the moment. We almost scanned it.
you just can't take your um your seamoth down here unless you put an upgrade in it which allows you to see multiple of life and class forms in the region are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it oh shit uh why is there a light over there see this fe this feels like a massive quartz We just keep smacking it. Thirty seconds. No. Okay. Well, I think we've um bitten off a little more than we can chew. Oh, hang on. There's a box. Oxygen. Oh shit. Are we gonna die? Shit. We might die. I wasn't really paying attention. We're totally gonna die. Wait. Are we? Welcome. Oh, I did it. <laughs> we fucking did it. Um, because multiple Levi leviathans which is um something that's not great <laughs> uh, that's what the old things looked like the, the old um fragments so we don't want to go probably too much further than where we are however there was a box down here somewhere that i wanted to scan and a flat box and that and that so let's get out and scan some stuff and then we'll head, like, home to safety. In fact, there's two boxes. What is this? Vehicle upgrade console. Okay, it's just a box. So they haven't put this in yet. Okay, we got vehicle upgrade. Done. Perfect. Fuck yeah, feels good. Alright, what is this thing? This is a thermal plant fragment. Of course it is. And we still can't do anything with these. I'm going to look into these. I might actually wiki it. Because I feel like there's something. Maybe. No. Maybe you need. What is that? Is that a mermaid? Let's get some oxygen. And it just fucking disappeared. Um, 30 seconds. Uh, I feel like there's something. Maybe you need. Maybe you need like the laser cutter, right? And you cut it into bits or something? I'm pretty sure because like. They're all of different things. Like that one, we saw a massive quartz one before. We saw a massive titanium. <laughs> He's spazzing it. Titanium looking one. We saw a massive one that looked like gold. I'm fairly sure, like that one looks like. I don't know what that one looks like actually. Warning: maximum depth reached. Okay, where the hell was that? Imminent. That black square. There. What is this? <laughs> like this one is massive quartz. Easily. Okay, it's gone from being a black square to a white. That uh, black, um. Okay, that's just gonna be titanium. A black, black oblong to a white square. Uh, there was that light somewhere, and then there was that thing that looked kind of like a merman. That thing. I wanna see what that thing is. Uh, let's go to have a look at this. <laughs> uh, prawn suit. Oh, it's a four. Fuck yeah. So, that, that's obviously one of the upgrades. There was a prawn upgrade. Fuck off! Get fucked! Alright, I'm leaving. Come your tits. Whoa, that pop in there. Uh, so it looks like it's a mech. Like it's a mech suit. Oh, it's got like legs and stuff. That's fucking awesome. Prawn suit thermal reactor recharges power cells in hot areas. Okay, so instead of there being like a um 
uh, like a solar panel, you go to like hot areas. It's pretty cool. Gas torpedo. Gas pod. Okay, so that's the um, Ballsack Dugong's little balls that they put out. Release a cloud of toxic gas. Load this into a vehicle torpedo bay. Fuck yeah. Pressure compensator. Hunts vehicle extreme pressures so we can go down further. Pressure compensator mark two. Pressure compensator mark three. Nice. Vo uh, vortex torpedo. Shit yeah. Hull reinforcements. Sonar. Torpedo system. Perimeter defense. Storage module. This is the one I was talking about. Uh, CMOS solar charger. Also the one I was talking about. Uh, I don't know. Vehicle modification station. Build this in the moon pool. Yeah, so we need the moon pool first before we can do any of this shit. So moon pool fragments is the name of the game at the moment. For sure. Uh, okay, well, look, we're at 40 minutes. So I'll tell you what. Let's go home. After we scan this. Because it looks pretty. Um... And maybe let's scan like this thing. It's a floater. I remember that. And I want to actually read what it says about it because when I played last time, it didn't really have much information on it at all. Floater. Okay, structural analysis reveals that the entirely is made up of two separate species the pink main body and an inner jaws of the dominant creature. Okay, air buffer, uh, provided buoyancy. Okay, assessment. Further data required. Life form has been observed, almost exclusively attached to large boulders, appearing entirely vulnerable to an artificial detachment, and dis indiscriminate is what it reattached. Okay. So I guess you can put it onto this stuff and then like 30 seconds. make the boulders float. So if like there's a boulder blocking something, you can you can go like harvest some floaters and then put it on that instead and then like float stuff. Pretty good. Uh, that's just salt. We probably don't need that right now. Okay, let's head home via anything like good that we see. Uh, so I'm not going to play this until like maybe episode 3 or something has been, oh this is fucking horrendous, has been um, has been, has been uh, like produced, uploaded, watched, whatever, so that you guys can give me feedback or whatever. And in between that time, you know what, we're just going to episode, end the episode here because this is fucking brutal. Um, it's stuck at two frames for some reason. Uh, in between that time, I'm going to do my utmost best to fix this because like obviously this is unplayable for some reason it's just happened and it won't fix itself don't know why um but i'm gonna do my best either way i hope you enjoyed that i am loving it as always thanks for watching and i will see you next time